decipher which is which. So now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate PM Studios layer, the text layer, and we're going to control A to select everything, and then we're going to go to filter, and then blur, then Gaussian blur. And we're going to do it a maximum of three pixels, um, a minimum of one. We don't want that extreme of a Gaussian blur, just a little to make the text glow, kind of. Um, so we're going to select the colors layer next, we're going to copy it, do the same Gaussian blur, you can push control F if you like. Um, make sure that the original colors layer is set on screen, and for the color copy layer you can either do screen, which will make it look really ghostly, or you can do lighten, which will put a little color to it. <coughs> I always choose lighten for this one. Um, if you feel you still need to, um, you can copy the color copy layer and put that to screen as well, which puts it at a nice balance, I think. And then do the same Gaussian blur. And once we finish with that, we're going to select them all and click Merge Layers. And we're going to copy this. Hold on. Yeah, we're going to copy that. And then we're going to copy it one more time. And then we're going to push Control T with that, and we're going to move that up and flip it over. Okay, so once we finish with that, we're going to get our eraser, 500 point brush. Um, hardness is going to be zero, and we're just going to gently brush the very bottom of it right there once or twice. And we're going to push Control D, and as you can see, we have a nice, good-looking shadow. Um, with this, the the other copied layer, you can go to Filter, and then we can go to Blur, Motion Blur, and you can have it set to anything you really want. It's, this is just a matter of you fiddling around with it and seeing what you like. 50 will probably do good. <coughs> Alrighty, there we go. Of course, you probably want to do the uh, motion blur on this one as well. Oh no. So, let's see if we can't fix that. Motion blur, and then maybe we, if we set it to 30. Alright, so there you go. <coughs> That looks good. And there we go, we have our PM Studios. If you like, you can do a background right here. And we can do a white brush, uh, a massive uh, 500 point brush, five, uh, zero hardness again, and set it to overlay. And we can just gently tap that right there. And it should come out with a brighter purple. Yeah, you can see the purple coming out. see if we can't fix that. Oh well. Well yeah, you can do the background purple. I don't know how hard you'd have to work at that to get it perfect, but either way, that is my tutorial. I think I'm going over my time, so please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.